With a very nice code you can get from your Paradox account, it turns out you can roll CK2 all the way back to patch 1.1 1 .1 2013 Old Gods Era CK2. And that gave me an idea. What if we were to take a single dynasty on a journey through the history of CK2, starting in the Old Gods bookmark and progressing on patch to patch every single time we die? So starting in patch 1.1 Old Gods Era, our first death would give us patch 2.0 and access to the Sons of Abraham content. Our second death would take us to patch 2.11 with Rajas of India, etc, etc, etc. Now you're probably thinking, Good idea, idiot. That won't work because some of the patches weren't save compatible. Well, as a very famous CK2 modder, top CK2 mods of all time, by the way, I can smooth out any bugs we come across, in theory. But as a rule of thumb, with every incompatible patch, we'll take our newly inherited character and the closest analog to the domain that we've got at that time and move it over to a whole new world, which, in theory, will only really add to the extra difficulty. Oh my god, I forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it was... That was hideous, huh? After being rendered permanently frigging deaf by the Crusader Kings 2 main menu music, which I'm sure we've all missed a great deal with CK3, here we are in version 1.11 of Crusader Kings 2 with the Old Gods DLC, I assume. Uh, I actually can't see because everything below here on my screen is cut off. That's the first kind of issue I've seen with Old CK2. Here we are. Wow. This is a blast from the past, huh? Oh, shit. Where's all the map gone? Oh, that's crazy. I forgot that it, it, it ended basically at Persia, right? And then that was everything. Shit. This is bizarre. Well, here we are. Oh, God. We've got the hideous old faces and the old portrait frames. Man. So the question is, what dynasty? Bear in mind, we, we do actually have Ruler Designer. That was released uh, actually a few months before. Actually, it might have been like a year before this one. Anyway, I get dates up and whatnot for, for later on here. So the question is, where do we want to start with our dynasty? Of course, we're going to make a custom dynasty. I feel like it's only right uh, for, for, for jumping through the entire game here. I think we should just go... Look, we're going for Rome at the end of the day, right? That's the ultimate CK2 goal. Let's just slap ourselves down somewhere in... I think we've ever played in Lotharangia. So let's go ahead and slap ourselves right down in Pafals. Because that's a funny word. Werner Salian. No, thank you, Werner. Not today. Ethnicity. Now, this is old CK2, uh, where all the ethnicities were hideous potato face men plucked fresh from the dreams of Todd Howard. So let's see what we've got. Can we actually just try to play as Roman? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's what, uh, that's what Roman people look like. Burlap sack. Okay. Um, sure. Oh, shit. Sunset Invasion came out before Old Gods, didn't it? I I hate this. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Why not? Embrace the meme. Our first guy is going to be Nawa. We're going to go for uh, hideous old school CK2 double chin. The frog face man himself. I love it. What what hairstyle can we go for with our, with our family patriarch? The most important character, arguably, of the entire 21 out of 11 on beards. That's a good sign. <laughs> no, I've got to do it. You know how much I've missed this in CK3, right? We've got to do the classic clusterfuck coat of arms. We are going to have the mighty, purely well, pseudo-random here. We're going to have the mighty golden goblet representing the many republics we've played throughout the history of Crusader Kings 2. We are going to follow that up with the mighty tower. Of course, we're on Way of Life, where you build yourself a mighty grand tower and sacrifice plenty of peasants along the way. That's a representation of war crimes right there. We're going to have the unicorn to represent all the many, many fantasy mods we had in Crusader Kings 2. Not that I would dare suggest unicorns aren't real. And finally, the fish. Not for any particular reason. It's just a fish, isn't it? Right. Okay. First name. I'm thinking this is a series about history, and it should be a celebration of everything we've ever done in CK2. All of our series from... How long has this channel been going? A year and a half ago. All those many years ago when we started our first series as Elrang. You know the Patriarch's got to be called that. Patriarch of the channel. Patriarch of our dynasty. And I think we should call our dynasty. How about just Crusader Kings? How about just Crusader Kings? I think that's incredible. Let's do it. Okay, ruler designer. What the hell do... How do you even play early CK2? I, I really have no idea. This is when plots were like... Hang on, they probably won't even plot to this point. Is this when you had the murder button on CK2, or is this after that? 
Friend of mine, really, really old CK2. I think it was actually before this. There used to be just 150 gold and you could try and kill anyone you wanted. So, honestly, Elusive Shadow might be a waste of time. I'm going to be Grey Eminence. Just so that high diplomacy means we can get a grip on things early. You know, we can try and work out how the game is going to go down before we commit to, like, a particular... Like, I don't want to go for an aggressive martial play style and get my ass handed to me with my mechanics I've forgotten about. Asian is a minus one? What? Deceitful's a minus four? Although that is, that is minus two diplomacy, isn't it? Uh... Man, I, I, I feel like I would love to start with an ambitious character just because thematically it's pretty fun. Uh, but it's fucking expensive. Oh my god, and that's it. We can we can become patrilineally descended from the Prophet Muhammad for free. Uh, we can become scarred for, for one point at Berserker for 12. Why can you pick the Onage trait? <laughs> Especially as a, a Catholic Aztec man. I feel that's a bit peculiar. Okay, you know what? We'll take Paranoid. It's minus one diplomacy. We can bump that back up, no problem. Give me ambitious, fella. Give me ambitious, because I couldn't think of anything more appropriate. You know, no, no, no. Fuck ambitious. Get out of here. A week. I don't want ambitious. I want genius. Give me genius. And we could go, like, get excommunicated, and then we could say, hey, Pope, here's some money. Please, for the love of God, let me back in. Am I metagaming it already? We can't do that. That's illegal. Let's go for fucking lunatic is minus 42. I love it. I couldn't think of anything more appropriate for our starting character. This is it, my friends. Oh, look at it, man. Even though you're not playing as a pagan, you'll find they are bound to influence your game in many ways. Yes, yes, they are. Here we go. I'm not going to disable all hints because some of it actually genuinely might be kind of useful. Here we go. Oh, God, the UI. I forgot about this. Crazy. Okay. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to disable all hints. I've changed my mind very quickly. So there's our dynasty. We've got Ram Tree, Dynasty Tree. Uh, obviously, traits are in this tiny little box in this version of CK2. That's Jute Lambert the First is our is our liege of Spoleto. No, he's our he's sorry, he's our heir. Bizarre. Okay. We are a German Catholic reigning in Kaiserslautern in Perfaus. This is good. Conduct diplomacy. Oh, I forgot about this shit screen. So there's no right-click menus. There's no right-click menus at all. You have to conduct diplomacy with people. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Love it. Okay, is there the assassinate? Assassinate buttons in there. 350 gold. So we should really abuse that while we've got access to it during these early playthroughs, huh? So there's the Pope. Again, looking like a shriveled old potato of a man. There's a demand duchy button. That's quite useful. Hold a feast. Hold a f I've got to see what these are like. I've, I've got to find out what these things do in, in, in this stage of uh, CK2. Nothing really very much on the military tab. We've got a retinue cap of 33. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, so that's the same. Wow, so really we've just got... I mean, to be fair, we've got just a county, so I'm not really too surprised. There we are. There's our economy advances. And uh, that's it. Enjoy your game here. Feudal levies. Oh, I forgot about this system too. Yeah, wow. Back before the laws were, were super, super complex. First thing we've got to do, let's marry a matriarch for this for this perfect dynasty of crusader kings. We can't go on crusades yet. Well, we can. They're, they're obviously just basically great holy wars. I'm looking for a lady with a big brain and a big heart that she can fit into. Nope, that's the wrong way around. That, that, that Count Elrang can fit into. That's still not much better. Thank you for that. Uh, we've got Lustful Marotta. She's got overall that 30% fertility bonus. B big, big fan of her. We got Midas touched. L la, l la, Fiona. We've got Midas touched Fiona. Shit, is everybody no one better, huh? We got, we got plenty of alliances though. King Guts here of Navarra. What am I looking at alliances for? This is CK2, moron. This is CK2 before they added all the alliance stuff. Um, if you, sorry, you got any geniuses here? There's a character finder button. What is that? Like, like full stop? Shit. I can't see the button because it's off the screen. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I click that, is it gonna... That opens up Windows Clock. Well, that's... That sucks. Okay. I'm already at a pretty massive disadvantage because the game knows I'm too good. I'm gonna take a slice of Marotta pie. Thank you. Patrician. Oh my god, Patricians were blue. Oh, that's crazy. I really don't remember that at all. There he is. Doge Marianas of Amelfi is, is, has got that blue portrait, huh? And let's go. You know I gotta do it. Speed 5. I've decided to institute limited crown authority. Uh, ignore. Ignore, thank you for that. Let's go for gold or... Man, we've got, we've got to start with the prestige, huh? Let's just focus on building our dynasty to start off with. Oh, 
We can't focus on anything. We've got ambitions, right? That's it. So having a son. Oh, shit. I've immediately forgot. So, of course, your first ambition, you always say get married. And then you get some more prestige out of it. How old's our wife? She's 18. No, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. Ancelot Thomas, I need you. Sorry, where, where about so? We're in Lothar Ranges somewhere, right? In p p p Uh, I, I will admit, I don't know where that is. Excuse me, where, where are we? Oh, God, go to character. There we are. Ah, there it is. Good. Um, so a Duchess Lower Lorraine, or Lower Loran, don't really know. Uh, we need Pfalz, Trier, Metz, and Verdun. Okay. That's not too bad at all. We can manage that. Oh, it's also a bloody Legion's capital Duchy. Of course it is. What a fool. Uh, right, that shouldn't be too bad. You know what? If we're fast, we can grab this before before we have to worry. Let's grab you. What, what's the chance of that? 4.4. Oh, it's old CK2. We are going to be here for a bloody long time. Hello, Bishop. I don't suppose I can... How do I go to war? Novala Casas Belli. Request a, a claim? We need 500 piety. If you're around holding something... Okay, so we can't do that either. <laughs> I know a lot of people are probably thinking, why... Do, you know, you're playing an old god start, want to play Scandinavia or something like that. Uh, simply because... I think if we played Scandinavia in the old god start, we could probably get like a kingdom or an empire without... You know, before we've even flipped patch. So I don't think that's a... Oh, you fool. Oh, oh, you silly man. Keys to the kingdom. You might as well just give me the... Did he just fire me immediately? Oh, no. We're in. Okay. I guess he was just responding to us, responding to him. Right. Okay. How do I plot? Oh, there's a plot button. We can kill him. Uh... Ah, here we are. Let's choose plot. We can We can kill people. We can kill people. That's it. That's all That's all our plots consist of. Sorry, I thought our intrigue was gash. No, it's not that bad. 17. Oh, you know what? We're actually quite good. We're a sensible man. Well, we're not at all, but... Ah! Master of the horse! You're king. Thank you, king of Lotharangia. A long and sordid history with the horses of the Crusader Kings realm. Well, allegedly. Thank you for letting me know about the uh, factions, I guess, are the only real way that we can get some acceleration here, huh? Can we do... King Louis for Lotharangia, King Louis for Burgundy, King Charles for Burgundy. What about El Rang Crusader King for Lotharangia? Seniority succession. Lower crown authority. <laughs> you know what? I think independence is probably the best way to start some real chaos here. We died. <laughs> well, do we progress the patch? I don't know if that really counts. Oh, come on, really? Hands freed! Were we prepared for that? Oh, bollocks. Okay, we're at war with Lotharangia. We're off to a stunning start. Let's take all 437 men. And let's go into battle. I need your strongest potions. Stefan, get on here. Ruprecht. My god, this is this is gonna be chaos. How many men has he got? Uh I mean, shit, I'm sure it tells us here somewhere. How do we find... Oh, my God, you had to go back into Realm Tree, didn't you? 3,869. Yeah, we're dead. This is... This is we're dead. We're doomed. Or are we? Who am I at war with? Oh, we are at war with this guy. Help me. Jizzlebert, for God's sake, man. A daughter was born to Count Elrang of Pafels and Countess Murata named Ulrika. She's a genius. Oh, what a phenomenal start. Holy shit. Now, Ulrika, I was tempted to go for as as a name, of course, as as Battle Grandma was called Ulrika. But I think we're going to go in chronological order of the series. The second series we ever did, following our rank, was the uh, Game of Thrones series, the Golden Iron series. So we're going to go for Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger, Crusader Kings. Or not. Did you not? Oh, there we are. <laughs> Let's celebrate too soon. I think we're about to get our cheeks well and truly clapped by i can't tell what the war score is i can't see it i can only assume yeah i can only assume we've lost are you going to execute me you can't make me reinstall a patch already don't do it don't do it we're good friends Play, uh, release me i demand you hey diplomacy get, get me out of here i'll try some prisoner me no we haven't got enough gold uh give it a few months Ulkmar! you oh when i get out of here Oh, when I get out of here, brother, you are in for a world of pain. Ah, large numbers of people in a combined area is never healthy. My God, if that doesn't ring true. Prophetic paradox strikes again. Friends managed to smuggle in a rope in a flagon of wine. Wine for the guards and rope for the window. Soon the bird shall fly its cage. And... Oh, no! The guards managed to catch me, tie me up and bring me to Lothair II. He sent me to the Oubliette. You can't. 
This is this is gripping. Absolutely mind blowing for the first episode. It is as it's as Ethan often. <clears throat> it started as an uneasiness around guests and strangers, then evolved into awkwardness with strong feelings of discomfort. I'll have to try to be more gregarious. Fucking. Oh, this man, I'm gonna scourge him from the earth. Every man, woman, and child he's ever met will be. Well, oh, oh, I mean, that's me. Of course I know him. I'm gonna end his life the second we get out of here, which is gonna be fucking never if he keeps taking gold. Please. Make my request. Can I not. Oh, please. Is there anything we can do here at all, or am I genuinely... Fucking hell. All right. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh, we did get a claim, though, so we've got that going for us. <laughs> what an incredible start. Count Elrang has passed over to heaven at the age of 24. He died in the dungeons of King Lothair II of Lotharangia. Long live Countess Jolly Roger. And with Jolly Roger comes... The Rajas of India. Actually got my DLCs completely out of order there. Next up was Sons of Abraham and Patch 2.0, which came out on November the 18th, 2013. So this for us is quite relevant. It adds the College of Cardinals. It adds pilgrimages. And we can now request crusades as well. Um, oh, and, and popes can also give us money and we get things like uh, excommunications, that type of thing. Empowering religions, basically. Wow, and do we actually... There it is, the College of Cardinals right there. Holy shit. So, little Jolly Roger, a whole new world awaits. Is she being educated? No. So, Jolly Roger be educated by... Who have we got? I feel like I'm going to go before Ruprecht here, just judging by the fact that he's actually pretty decent. You... I'm going to say a, a big fucking swear word in a minute, pal. I... <laughs> if you die... Oh, my God, if you die... Yes. Okay, we might actually get to experience our patch with some gameplay. What's that you say? 30 years in the Ublia, I'll take it. Group of Hedge Knights came to visit, and instead of my regent arranging it, I, tiny girl, am gonna throw them a feast. And we're gonna get Gregarious out of it. Hey, I'm not complaining about that at all, that's fantastic. Am I getting just? I'll have him stay in the castle while he recovers. Ah, oh, this game's too easy. Made the game too easy. Most people have good hearts. A stranger is just a friend I've yet to meet. They all mean well. Game kind? <laughs> what? Uh, no, no. Oh, thank you for 8.57 gold. I forgot they could just do that. Claim for Mets, and it only took 13 years. Man, this is going to be fast accelerating gameplay then, huh? Yeah, give me that 16.95 gold, 50 prestige. 50 prestige? Oh, God. Okay, we've got to get Claim on Trier again, and then we're basically in Duchy Town. And kaboom. One fully grown child. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, brave. I personally wouldn't have gone for that, but that's okay. Countess Jolly Roger of Pafals is illegal age. She became a fortune builder. 21, hey, 21 stewardship is really not too terrible. Let's see if we can get ourselves a better marriage. Matrilineally, obviously. Oh, that's a fucking shame because we could get some really... We could go, we could, we could, we could metagame it. No, I can't metagame it. Could we? I could risk it. I'm, th I'm thinking we go like marry the King of Burgundy or marry the King of East Francia and press all our claims, call them in, get them to do the wars for us, divorce them and, 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 and get kids out of someone else. No, it's too dangerous. Is it? Yes, it is. Prince of the Byzantine Empire. Hello. We could just inherit the whole of the Byzantine Empire. We could just inherit the whole of... Uh, that'll do. Okay. Hello. Um, uh, what, what in line are you to the Byzantine Empire, Osbando? Uh, Leon, my brother-in-law. My husband is not being... It's elective, right? Primogeniture. Why Why are you not being... A brother. What have, what have you done? A bastard? A bastard. Oh, damn it. I've fallen for that old trick. Ho, ho. What a guy. So the Honourable Countess Jolly Roger, peace be with you. I've designed to, to, to give you the Duchy of Lola Lorraine. Oh, Lothair the Second, how I will rule with an iron fist. Oh, look at Pafals now, and there was me thinking we should go to war. I guess maybe it's because we had the claim that he granted it to us. Probably because we are actually a great character in hindsight. And our and our our, our massive diplomacy score, all nine of it, probably made him like us a little bit more. God knows. That's fantastic. Wow. I Elmener as well. This is this is the new guy. My my good man Simon Carling. Thank you, Simon Carling. So 
I was gonna say we, we should really probably just build some buildings, and now I realize that's actually all we can do right now. <laughs> we could have a feast. We could go on a pilgrimage. Hey, we got the Sons of Abraham stuff kicking in now. I think I would rather save up for the castle town. Give ourselves a good foundation to work from. You know, first steps. Let's become the Holy Roman Emperor. Then, then we'll see how... Let's, okay, it's very simple. We just have to become the Holy Roman Emperor. Then, from there, we'll we'll press out and take Rome. Two-step plan to victory. Well, kind of decision is this you've given me. My husband, Prince Constantinos, has requested to join the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre. So either I say yes, and he leaves our court, and, and Babi does not get formed. Or we say no, and we lose a hundred piety. No, you're going to stay here and do your duty. Or Stefan von Zweibrucken. He is dead as dicks and left to us a sizable inheritance. That wasn't even me that did that. Incredible. Okay. Uh, Ezo. Uh, look, I have no idea how these courtiers work. I have no idea where they're coming from. I have no idea where they go. And I have no idea where they come from. Cotton Eye Joe. Despite my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I clicked then, but he's he's gone. Thomas. Thomas hates me. Thomas, you're you're gone, brother. Aldebrecht? Aldebert? What the hell's that? The spooky black sc don't click that. Don't click that. That's the immortality button. <gasps> I am with child. Whose child, you're probably wondering. We've only gone and got ourselves another genius, boys. Oh, there he is. Okay, so the series that came after GoldenEye and the, the, the CK2 series where Jolly Roger originated was Geheimnisnacked. So we have to call you the Ever Queen. Look, you'll, you'll grow into it, I'm sure. Why educate this baby? Ah, uh, you telling me this was back when CK2 was sensible and you wouldn't immediately put your tiny child for a... A 12 hour work day. What are you talking about? That five domain sites. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I would like your title. How do I take that? Revoke title. Revoke it. Uh, lower his opinion. We have a claim on it. Vassals will not object. There's a 5% chance of revolt. 5% chance of revolt. But he's saying no. What the hell does that mean? So 5% chance. So we'll just say no and then that's it. Nothing will happen. Is that what you're telling me right now? Uh, we're not very strong. You're right. We're not very strong. We need retinues. Can we get retinues? Uh, no, no, basically, um, 600, 600, 900, we're never going to get right news, we will have to save it for mercenaries then, oh, naughty Baroness B Bircher, killed one of her family members, did she kill her own brother, murdered on the orders to get herself a castle, and all she's done is end up just giving me a castle, uh, she loses, oh, the vassals lose minus 20 opinion, I don't care about that, that for a castle, that's a great deal. With another child. Hey, that's great. How are we looking on Castle Town? Oh, Jesus. Castle Wars 2 and Castle Infrastructure Level 2. 293 gold? I'm not freaking Queen Midas over here. How much do you need for that? Okay, that's fine. Another 9 gold and we can build ourselves Castle Town in our newly acquired barony. Legally acquired barony. Oh, God. Don't do it. You can't. Someone is banging something hard against it. it it's... It's... Okay, right, let's just build the, let's build the castle town and move on swiftly. Jolly Roger II. Uh, what, what, who else do we have in the Geheimnis next series? We had... Uh, God, I don't even remember the horrible naming scheme we gave to any of them now. The main character in that series was Gontruder, which I didn't... Oh, shit. My labor was difficult, and I feel... Spelt labor wrong. And I feel something is wrong with me. The midwives look worried, and I feel so terribly weak. I've got pneumonia. You got pneumonia? From, from having a baby be formed? Okay, do not die on me. Minus four health. You can't. Please don't make me patch it again, brother. It's the first episode. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll try to become king of Lotharangia. Haha, <laughs> you can do it. Don't die. I've never been more pissed off in my entire life. Here we are. Patch 2.1.6 with Rogers of India. Currently my favorite patch that we've seen because I can see the bottom of the bloody screen now. Finally see how much our war score is and open the ledger and all sorts of crap. Little Ever Queen of Lower Lorraine with, of course, our, our castle towns and everything's basically carried over fine. The problem now is that in this funky Rajas of India world, the Holy Roman Empire has kind of formed around us. So we're going to have to be very, very careful going ahead. Hopefully, the HRE will probably just clap our leads rather than clapping us, seeing as we are kind of right on the border here. So we have to be very, very careful going ahead. Let's get him educated and start working on rebuilding this dynasty. Here's the worst part. Here's the biggest slap in the face from Paradox Interactive. 
in the year whenever this came out, or like 2014. We can't customize our friggin' flag, so we're stuck with boring yellow because we're not the top liege. We would have to get independence if I want to put back our horrible house flag again. Now, who do we want in charge of ruining this character then? We've got uh, this guy, Chancellor. Okay, Elusive Shadow. Actually, we could go Intriga. Uh, do we still have the right click kill button? Has that been patched out yet? Uh, Assassinate's still there. Love it. Okay, um, let's go. I mean, in that case, if you want to build an entry character, you build a stewardship character so you can get plenty of dollar and then you just pay a thousand assassins until eventually they die. I think we go for... Oh, man. Slim pickings, though, huh? Shit. I guess we'll go for you, because either we're going to come out a good diplomat or a good... Bear in mind, I think at this point, it was whatever their uh, education was, was what you would have a chance at getting. So if we pick this guy, we're, we're, we're becoming an entry character. Um, I don't know if I want that, but there's no good stewards. I guess you're not too bad. Kind, but he's got fucking arbitrary. Oh, go on, then. Uh, Adel, Adel hard. Oh, that was quite nice. Most people have good hearts. A stranger is just a friend I have yet to meet. It's strange deja vu already. To be honest, I remember why during these kind of older years of CK2, why I preferred playing Republics, because holy shit, there is really nothing to do, huh? What the hell? Do, what did we even do in this game before societies and, and way of life and conclave came out? We just kind of sat around? How did they trick us into paying for this? The guy, Alderhut, he's actually turned us into a, a, a pretty fucking good character, I won't lie. We got kind, cynical, we lost just, but that's because he's arbitrary. Humble, charitable, diligent. I feel like we need to do kind of a last minute pivot here and flip over to a diplomacy education. What do you like? See, he's stewardship. Even if we get Midas touch, we're not going to be that good a steward, right? So I think we, I think we pivot and try and get gray eminence out of this kid. Stay on target. Stay on target. Oh, okay. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Who? A half brother. Basilius Max. Oh my god, our dad actually got the fucking throne in the end. Well, that's annoying. Okay. Um, wait. Wait. Who's his heir? My half brother. Oh, because they're different house. Different. He remarried. He bloody remarried. That shit. After Jolly Roger died. Damn. I was hoping we'd be in line there. We're not in line, are we? We, we didn't, we're not just going to suddenly get Byzantium. Not not a chance. <gasps> oh, I wasted all our money on barracks. We can do it, though. I can do it. Can we? Are we are we actually genuinely next in line to... So, you, 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 thes, you th euthanasios. He will be bloody euthanasios by the time I'm fucking done with him. Maximos. Oh, my God. Can he do it? Okay, pivot fast to diplomacy land, and then we could just plot to kill them, and everybody will be on board because they love us. Even if we don't get Grey Eminence, we're going to be the world's greatest diplomat anyway. 20 diplomacy in early CK2. That we, we are we are diplomacy Jesus. I think that's just Jesus, right? Uh, oh, good God. Uh, we've got one diplomat in the entire round, and he's got two diplomacy. No, I can't. I can't. Can we invite Noble? No, Noble, right? Shit. You better be good. Baldwin. Ernst. Andreas. Come on. Please be good. Please be, please be, please be good. No. Fuck off. God, the interface is so clunky. Everqueen. You, you can't do this to me. Did they all come out? They were all bloody stewards. You can't invite a diplomat? I thought the noble had a chance to be diplomat, but I guess not. Bollocks. We can't do it because I'll have two days left. You absolute moron. Uh... There's no invite to court. <laughs> Shit. We're going to have to get that, that anus man to to educate us. We shouldn't call him anus man. He probably won't say yes. They, yeah, you anus man. Naiva Pisa. Naiva Pisa. Bollocks. Should have stuck with this stewardship. We could have been a mediocre... We, well, we could have been a good diplomat and a, and a mediocre steward. Or a decent steward. But instead, we've become a good diplomat and a shit steward. Whatever. Maybe we can level it up. I don't think you can at this point in CK2. Okay, 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 okay. Watch this. You die. Who we got? Yehuda. And that's it. Shit. What about the ecumenical... Even, like, even if we've got everybody in this court, it wouldn't be enough plot power. Shit, well, that's not going to happen. 44.4%. Uh, right, that's all fired. Fuck off. Or not. Sorry, stay on board. Build a spy network. 3% to assassination chance. You're kidding me. How does this work? 
Because it's just, uh, it's it's flat assassination chance. It's not plot power strength anymore, right? Um, can you even do that? Study technology? No, you can't help with plot power. It's only assassination. We've got to get, okay, okay. In that case, we borrow the money from the Jewish merchants. We put the money into murder. Big fan of that. What are you doing? What are, are you attacking me? Salerno. Oh, I don't care about that. Um, money from the Jewish merchants, right? We hire a smart man. Oh, Christ. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to find a good, uh, a good mur murder boy. We need to find a good murder boy. This is never going to work. I, I sorted by opinion here, and, and the guy who's got decent, decent intrigue, by which I mean seven, uh, even he doesn't want to come to court. So there's no point checking any lower, because if he doesn't with 45 opinion, no one's going to want to come to court with lower opinion. Does that make sense? Build a spy network. We get one chance at this. We get one chance at this, because assassins are 350. Actually, against uh, an emperor, they're probably more, aren't they? Assassinate. 450! But we're so close to getting the Byzantine Empire. Okay, let's forget about Byzantium for a second, right? Forget about that. Give me a wife. What can we go for? We can go for a Carling wife. Uh, maybe we should go for like Genius or something like that. Keep keep the uh, keep the dynasty strong. We got quick. Oh my god, there's no search bar either. Oh, this is hell. Um, I guess we go for a Carling. We're not a bad idea. Emma, the princess of the Holy Roman Empire. On one side, we're going to inherit Byzantium. On the other side, we inherit the HRE. Boom. He's a genius. I bear in mind it's elective right now. Ideally, we could just put ourselves under the HRE and get elected if we can't get Byzantium. But it's it, I don't know what the chance of assassins succeeding in this game right now are. You know, I don't know. if Maybe it's only 10%. Maybe we're going to piss 450 gold up the wall and get nothing out of it. With the Royal A duty, we're only 9 gold away from potentially being Byzantine Emperor. Right? Ever Queen... Oh, shit. I didn't even take that into account. He's dead. 9th of March. Oh, sorry. 2nd of March, 905. Age 3. Was died in suspicious circumstances. Who killed him? Well, that's very Byzantine right there. Has he got enemies? He's actually really, really beloved. Why? Opinion of Liege. Defending versus infidels. I forgot they had that. Domain too big. Minion crown authority. Holy shit. This is great. So our younger half-brother died. The one who's in line first, because obviously he's the same house. So, all we've got to do then is kill him, and we're we're golden. Here it is, my friends. For all 58% chance of being discovered. 12% chance of success? You can't. That's shit. That's fucking awful. Oh, God, really? And that's the best that we've got. We can go over there and strangle him for our fucking higher success chance than that, pal. I'm not doing that. Although, what the hell else are we going to do? 12% chance of being the Byzantine Empire. You only get one shot. Do you take it? 12%. No, I can probably dig up a better... I can probably dig up a better spy master first, right? There's no good spy masters and we're down to 9% chance. I can't risk that. Now, let's be, let's be clever. For the first time ever playing CK2 here, right? He's six years of age. No one is going to stand between us and that throne between them because it's agnetic cognetic primogeniture. He is not suddenly going to get a brother or a sister that is his house out of nowhere, right? He is only six. That gives us 10 years minimum to kill him dead. That gives us 10 years to find a better spy master or for him to potentially be de deposed or murdered or killed or, or murdered again or captured or have his capital siege down. Anything can happen in that time. If it gets to like... If he turns 16, that's when you drop the 450 on the 9% chance to try and kill him dead. 66% chance of being discovered too. Are those... Those are independent variables, right? So if we kill him and get away with it... Uh, sorry, if we kill him, there's still a 66% chance we'll be discovered. Or we don't kill him, and there's still a 66% chance we'll be discovered having attempted murder on him. So either way, it's either we become a kin slaying emperor, or we're 450 quid up the shitter and people think we tried to kill our brother. This is not a good place to be. You know what? Let's leave it there. From CK2 patch 1.11 old gods to CK2 patch 2.1.6 Rajas of India. We've had three characters episode one. 
<laughs> I don't quite know how I've managed it, but here we are. Ever Queen of Lower Lorraine as our final character of today. Thank you for watching. This is probably going to be a short series in hindsight. I was intended this to be quite long, exploring the history, the vast breadth of CK2 over the years, seeing the changes and adapting to them. And instead, we are just getting fucking annihilated left, right, and center. Thank you guys for, for watching. Stay tuned until tomorrow. Thank you in the meantime to our patrons for making garbage like this possible in the first place. A big thank you has to go out to Tremere Regent, Moira, Felpy, Kane, Siala, Kekvit Ure, Juseda, Runtime Overflow, Tenacious Bloom, Spray Can, Jobo Daddy, Ethox, The Thick Mick, Emily, Archbishop, Voodoo Mumbo, and Plumby for their support over on Patreon. Thank you, guys. I did say this during the Rimworld playthrough, but just to reiterate, uh, I did update this end screen card, so if you're missing from that, uh, basically names came in in between me uploading it and then and then recording this. So it's probably a little bit out of date still. I'll, I'll try and get that caught up again tomorrow so I can be back behind again tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you as well to Bordoon, Astro Sen, one, two, three, four, five, Mr. Awesome, Ananora, Neon Cat 17, Struck Iron, Bare Minimum, Matteo, Callum James 3, Proximity Jones, and Cass for their support as well. What am I doing? This is this is a stupid series.